There's been a lot of comments and concerns about recent short videos I've been making on YouTube about scallop fishing. So if you have seen them or if you haven't seen them, we are going to really get down and explain more in these videos because some of these videos, especially the ones where we saw the craziest catches in different types of nets, these are actually done through science programs. These science programs are going to collect data on the fishing grounds that we fish currently, have fished, or are going to fish. So let's take a look at this map. You can see this is the map of New England's coast. But for the sake of keeping everything simple, let's just zoom in on these four areas. Here in this yellow shaded area, I'm not too sure. I think that might be the open bottom channel where we make open bottom trips. And that is also going to be where the bluefin were, right there in that yellow area for sure. Closed area one, that is completely closed. That purple area is most likely absolutely untouchable. North and west Nantucket lightship rotational areas, those are currently closed. We fish those very heavy. That area, through well-managed fisheries, the scientists that monitor these areas actually recorded the largest biomass of sea scallops ever recorded in history right off the coast of New England where uh, arguably the most well-managed fishery exists the big bulky dredge may be intimidating at first glance but you've also got to understand where these are fishing these are all mud sand flats these aren't being towed in coral reefs there's no coral reefs up here we're fishing off George's Bank and Nantucket it's mostly granite rocks sand and mostly everything around here is gonna have a shell on it they're pretty hard and the dredges are slow enough and with the twine top you've seen in my videos our dredges allow much of the species down there that are sensitive they blow right out of that dredge sustainable fishery check the other side as a commercial fisherman i would imagine that i can explain this gear to you a lot more in detail than other channels in the past so let's get right into it and see what we can do all right so this is the bag and this is me getting the squeezers and I'm going to take one of these little steel rings and that is what's actually holding all of these four inch rings together and there you can see there are little shackles holding it to a giant chain that is a sweep chain that's what actually scoops along the bottom and these little chains here are windows that allow small rocks to get through but not the big ones Everything's held together with shackles. This rubber protects the bag and the ground. A little bit easier on everything. This is chafing gear. That chain is just a little extra metal over top of those rings. Make sure nothing falls apart while we're towing. You can see behind all of this. Ah, yes, yeah, the sweep chain. You can see behind everything, though. That's the twine top. That's where all the fish and a lot of those small lobster, when that net from the test and the videos is not on, everything blows out of there. This club stick at the bottom pulls everything tight, allowing the bag to open, but not be out of control. These shoes are actually the only thing that's really touching the bottom. You'll see these drags come up. It's rusty now. There will be shines on these drags where it shines the rust off that's where you'll see what's actually on the bottom it's not quite as bad as you think it is this is not going under this is rolling across and everything tickles the bottom loosens it up scallops stay in the bag everything else blows out as designed this has been going on for 50 years they are we are not endangering the habitat with this so I do hope that all this covered everything. If there's any questions, please feel free to comment down below. Always give us a like. Share it if you think it was worth it. And keep following for more. We're going to check out more fisheries as not just scalloping. I have longline swordfish, gill netted mackerel, dunfish dragging, and a few others. And I've made many friends along the way. So... Stay tuned till next time. Thanks for following, and if you're new, follow along. Set it for the alert.